dog fight in progress. It's usually a bunch of guns, money, and cash that all over the floor because nobody wants to get caught with it. Those are the words of Sandy Christian, an activist of the Human Society. Hello, um, my name is Lynn Fasitimbe, and today I'll be talking about dog fighting business, how cruel it is, and how immoral this business can get. Dog fighting is a growing problem in the United States. Also, we'll talk about what is causing this problem and how dog fighting can be stopped. Dog fighting is a growing problem in the United States. Dog fighting is immoral and dogs are the victims of this tragedy. According to the president and CEO of the Human Society of the United States, Wayne Palace, masters, breeders of dog fighting use equipment like grape stands like this one in the picture to force dogs to mate. And this is how the dogs look like when they put on this equipment to force them to read. And according to Hannah Gibson, the Animal History Legacy Center 2005, those handlers of the fighter dogs also put them, uh, use, also they use those dog tapes to, to tie the dog's mouth to for the dog not to be able to attack the other dog's fighting. And this is commonly known as bait. So the, after they, they send those dogs to, the, to fight with the other dogs, the fighter dog will be, which will, the one who is trained, this is how the, the dog will end up being severe, yeah, severe wounded. And also according to Gibson, Dogs are forced to train in three miles for extended hours and extended periods of time. And this is how the dogs look and they are forced to train in this sort of equipment. This is really cruel uh, according to Hannah Chipson and there's many reasons why this should be stopped but this is just some of the reasons. So. Dog fighting is illegal. Of course, everybody knows that, but most of the people don't realize how those poor dogs are harmed during these fights. Dog fighting is illegal according to Hannah Gibson um, in all the 50 states of the United States, and uh, dog fighting is considered a felony in 48 states of the United States. Dog fighting has reached alarming numbers and according to the website StopDogFighting.net, over 16,000 dogs are especially bred for the dog fighting business and are killed in the process. There, currently, there are 40,000 dog fighters in the U.S. and numbers keep growing. According to the 2009 U.S. shelter data, pit bulls report to be 58% of the dogs euthanized in shelters. Now that we have seen how cruel and how big this uh, business of dog fighting is, let's talk about what is causing this problem. Control. What is causing this problem? Dog fighting is a big business. A dog, uh, a puppy who is going to be used, which is going to be used for dog fighting, can cost up twelve hundred thousand dollars. And after Slaughter Helen, an activist of the Law and Coalition Center, and according to the CNN, two thousand seven illegal dog fighting purses can be as high as one hundred thousand dollars. According to Hannah Gibson, in countries like Italy, this cruel business can reach up to $500 million a year. The other problem is there is not enough resources to enforce laws. 
According to the ASPCA, causes of dog fighting, cases of dog fighting many times are overlooked because they don't have the money and they are so expensive and require specialized undercover officers to dismantle this illegal and immoral business. According to Gibson, there is not enough money to investigate and prosecute cases. Now that I have, uh, we have a look at the causes of the problem, let's look at how we can do to stop this horrible and cruel business. First of all, uh, the AHPCA recommends to educate the community, educate children at home, and as my personal part of the solution, I will to suggest that schools should be also educate our children regarding dog fighting. And also, we can do by supporting organizations that are currently are active and they support uh, against, they, they work against uh, dog fighting. And those are the websites that you can go and log in to, to help. They have more information in it. Uh, According to the president and CEO of the Human Society of the United States, Wayne Palace urges you to take action by signing a petition called Strip Animal Fighters from Their Tools, which is currently in process. And you can do this by going into this website, the second one, where it says Action Human Society. You just click on it and then you will, they will it will appear right there. So. The ASPCA also offers lots of solutions and information on how you can make a difference uh, on its section called uh, 10 Ways to Help End Dog Fighting. And that's the first link over there in the, in the slide. Uh, another, uh, another solution can be urging politicians to get involved. Uh, this means your state lawmakers, like write letters, for example, to our lawmaker for the district. It's, his name is Andrew Wakoma, is the governor of the New York district. And the second link right there, Action Human Society, actually you click in it and you can find, uh, you enter your zip code and you can find the name of the, your lawmakers, your state lawmakers. And you just, I uh, will pass you around some of the papers, how the how the petition looks like after this, I finish with this speech. Also, he also recommends like to write to another uh, lawmaker who, whose name is Jose Serrano. The, the, he is the state senator for the New York district, for instance. And he also recommends to, to go and just, you know, if you don't really want to sign the petition, but also you can support all those organizations that fight against uh, this cruel business. In conclusion, I would like to remember that dogs are the victims of this cruel business. And I would like you to remember how you can make a difference by just visiting their websites and giving like five minutes to sign the petitions and support these laws currently in process. At the same time, teaching others that that is possible to live in harmony with animals and this planet. Thank you. Okay. Well, David, did you, did you rehearse this? Yes. And how, how long was it when you rehearsed it? Like seven minutes. Yeah, it was, it was by nine. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, it was, it was, you know, I, I haven't stopped that yet, but it was almost nine minutes.